Howdy friends! Welcome back to Make and Play. And this week is gonna be so much fun. We are gonna get like super pirate crazy argh, with a pirate ship. So uh, we're gonna have an awesome pirate ship and then a pirate town and uh, we're gonna have some people, some swashbuckling friends that are gonna have to, to be made to be part of our whole pirate theme. And we are also going to be talking about our good friends at Shipwreck Grill, Mary and Wade. They're awesome. They are always giving to our community. And right now they are busy making uh, takeout food from Shipwreck Grill and Third Domain and Amico Nave. So, we're gonna give a shout out to them and kind of talk about what they're doing during this time. And they have so graciously offered to give us some gift certificates to hand out for people that post pictures of their progress and share our post of each episode, okay? So you can post one a day and then we throw your name in the drawing and on Friday, we will pull those out and announce maybe Friday, maybe next week. I'm not sure. This pirate episode, uh, we might have to go through two weeks because it is crazy fun. I've had so much fun building. So today, what we're gonna do is we are going to build our pirate ship. Look at the, you see the flag? Oh, it's so scary. And our figurehead, she's so cute. Look at her. So we're gonna we're gonna work on that, and I'm just gonna take you through it step by step. Always remember that these are creative decisions. Therefore, if you have a different material, use what you have. Okay? If you have a better idea, oh my gosh, share it with me. I need to know. I'm working with what I have in my studio. Uh oh. Let me fix my sign here. And if you like what we do here. You can always send me a sweet tip to help support what we're doing on Venmo. So, I'm using materials that we have here. I haven't bought, I have not bought one thing since we started. I am using, for our box today, for the foundation of our ship, I am using a, uh, a box that had frames in it, just cheap frames that we were using for glass painting. And I had to tape some of those spots together because it was falling apart. But I like these boxes because they're so thin I could cut them with a pair of plain old scissors. All right, so I went ahead and cut these sections out because I was looking at pictures of ships and they have this part carved out and it's really cool looking. So you need to get yourself a box. And if you want these parts cut out, just go ahead and cut those out. All right, I'm gonna show you the next step. You can always pause me and come back, okay? I have taken some tag board or cardstock. You could use regular paper if you want to. Remember the back side, you can use the back side of a box. This, I'm using to hold my palm tree. We're gonna make that later. I use, this, this is a, a tomato sauce box from a bunch of tomato sauce that I bought from Sam's. It is awesome cardboard. You could use that and it's kind of cool. It has these little round things on it. All right, so I took a piece of just this, I don't know, cardstock that I have. I have a whole bunch of it. I don't know where it came from. So I, I went ahead and cut two of these the same height as my box, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is these are gonna be the sides, but I wanna have this point, I wanna have this point here. So I'm gonna make sure that I cut that out. I went ahead and decided what that line was gonna be. And I've marked that line on my boat, okay? So I'm gonna do that. And I'm also gonna go ahead and line this up right here. And I'm gonna trace my cutout, all right? So here I go, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna use this marker so you can see. And I'm gonna trace my cutout. You have to make sure which way you do it because this box is bigger here. So this is for this side. And this one is for this side. I'll line 
it up. I don't have to be perfect with it. It doesn't matter. It's gonna all work out. So now I will just take this and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut these sections out. So when you get ready to do this, you know, you just measure the height of this box and it makes it a lot easier if you cut both pieces first. I've been cutting um, tape with these scissors, so now they're like, <laughs> get a different pair. Those are much better. And I wanna have the look of wood, so I am going to draw some wood planks on here. It's so fast and easy. All right, so now I have the front, this side, and this other side of my boat. And they're just gonna get glued together at the bow, okay, at the front. But we need the back covered, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that out too. I need to make sure I have the right side out. This way I know that I've got it turned the right way because if you put it on the wrong side when you go to put it on, you're gonna go, oh man, what did I do there? I, I, I've done that, okay? I know because I've done it. This is the back, this goes around the back. And what I've done here is I've made it to where it hangs over. So I'm just gonna fold it so I know where those edges are and how it's gonna fit. To get a really nice crease, if you take the edge of something hard, you can push it along there. You can also buy a fancy tool called a bone folder, but you don't, you don't need it. Sounds like something a pirate would use. Arr, a bone folder. I do have a bone folder though. I'll show you what it looks like. It's in a fancy little case. And it's just made to make really nice creases. This is just a Martha Stewart one from the craft store. And it really does make a nice crease. So I've got all my pieces and I'm gonna make my lines for my wood. I'm just using a regular ruler. It doesn't have to be a ruler. You could use a straight edge, just a piece of paper, a stir stick, uh, anything that you have. And I'm gonna go ahead and make them this width. That way I don't have to measure. I'm just gonna lay them on here. I'm gonna show you how to do one side of this and then you can do the same thing on the other. There's no need for me to spoon feed you. You guys are brilliant. All right. So easy. Tools make our lives so much better. So, you see how I have this side done? And this is the back end. So we're gonna want the same thing done on this. When we get ready to paint, you can use whatever you have at home. If you don't have paint, use crayons. If you have watercolors, use them. You could use crayons and watercolors. Wow. Multimedia, super sophisticated. You could um, use acrylics, watercolors, watercolor crayons. I mean, anything you have markers. You could also use some brown paper. If you have um, like the inside of one of these boxes, you know, that's already brown. That kind of takes a step out. Oh, I wasn't gonna do this side. All right. I'm gonna put this this one over here out of the way. It's a big mess. It's a big mess right here. I've got a lot of stuff going on. So we want to make it look like there's planks 
where they connect. You can see where I've got these lines. I've got little nail heads. So I'm just gonna come through here. I'm gonna use a straight edge because it just makes it look so much nicer. And I'm just being pretty random. And you're gonna do that all over so that you have a nice pattern working. Not a pattern. You just have a nice, nice texture going. It's not really a pattern because it's pretty random. And I'm gonna put some little nail heads. You could put some little chinks out, little chink, chink, that where it's, the wood's taken away. So these are, this is an old pirate ship, man. You don't want it to look too good. You could also come in here if you wanted to and you could put some texture on the wood that's not so perfect. If you have some scrapbook paper that is wood patterned, that would be amazing. It would be quite amazing. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna cover this with lots of texture, okay? This implied texture, remember, you don't have to put it everywhere, you just need enough to give it the idea. And then after you, after you do that, we're gonna go ahead and add color. So you can decide, do you wanna use acrylic paints? Do you wanna use those watercolors or your crayons? Whatever you choose to use. I'm gonna use these watercolors that I have. So look, those are real sad looking. Like I'm, I'm even missing one right here. I'm missing the green, but I have brown. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. I've got some black. I'm just gonna use this even though it's not perfect. If you choose to use acrylics, you get a much richer look. This is a little, little dingy. Just a little dingy. But I'm gonna use watercolors right now because I have those and I'm trying to use up some of these supplies that I have. I'm, I'm not going to the store during any of this. I'm not buying any supplies. So if you use the watercolors, you don't have to be real neat. You can just kind of put them on here real brushy. Make sure you've got lots of water in there so it looks like wood. This paper is not watercolor paper, so it's gonna curl up a little bit and that's all right. I'm not worried about any of that. Sometimes when we just do things real quick like this, we get a really neat look. Okay, it's not supposed to be perfect. I'm gonna take just a little bit of this black. Oh, I like that. If you wanted to add a little bit of orange, you could do that. Your, your boat does not have to be brown. Your boat could be whatever color you want it to be. I think it'd be really cool if you wrote a story about what's going on with these pirates or a poem or a song to go with it. Oh my goodness, a song would be so cool. If you do, send it to us, share it with us. You could learn about the history of pirates. I had somebody tell me that they found out that they were related to pirates and it was a female pirate. I was like, that's cool. Okay, so you can see what I have here. It's very simple. It only took us a few minutes to do this. So the next thing you do is you're gonna glue this on. Now look, does that fit? No. Make sure wherever you're gonna put it, you lay it on there first to make sure it fits, all right? So all we do to get these to stay, to go together is we're gonna glue them on. Um, I, you can use regular glue, you can use tape. I don't like to use tape unless you can't see it. But um, I'm gonna use hot glue so that it goes quickly. But remember, you wanna do this back end first so that where it overlaps, you won't see that part. You can see right here, my finished pirate ship. The back end where it overlaps, you can't see that overlapped part. It makes it look more finished. So, once you glue this piece down, even though this one's not painted, I'm just gonna glue it so you can see how it works. Because you can see my finished one. 
And I have some more stuff to add to that pirate ship. I'm going to add some more details. I feel like it has needs to have some little windows that flap up where you can have cannons and some portals. And It's only day one. I've got more stuff to do. More things to build. I've got time. i got time to do this. It's going to be fun. All right. So you put the back piece on first. You want to have it painted. And then you put this piece on. It's so very simple. Now, I built this pirate ship a couple times yesterday. <laughs> so that when I brought this idea to you, I had worked the kinks out. Okay? That's how much I care about you. did have to stop and start over and that's a cool thing about the creative process you've got to figure it out you're making something that doesn't exist never existed before nobody's made this pirate ship that I've made they might have made something like it but this one's mine okay and the one that you make at your house it's yours it's all yours you are the creator Ooh, Miss Heather I'm out of hot glue I'm gonna need a hot glue stick delivery did not see that coming thank you you're welcome <laughs> I didn't did not see that coming. There we go, right back on track. If you have, you know, a director producer handy while you're making your pirate ship, it's so much easier. You need some and you, you need a first mate. That's what you need. You need a first mate right there on deck to help you out. And remember if you're using hot glue, be very careful and make sure you have permission. I know you know those things. I have to say them. And that's what this looks like okay when you're looking for a box man look around do you have a do you have a cracker box do you have a shoe box before you start emptying the stuff out of the pantry though you need to ask don't make it you know who you always want to be happy in your house or if you have a job that deals with someone that controls the food that person I worked at a camp one summer a Girl Scout camp and let me tell you, I used to go in and help them mop the floor because they had the key to the kitchen. Don't make those people upset with you. All right, doing the same thing on this side. This side's not painted. We're just moving forward, okay? So today we're gonna get this part made and then we're gonna get all the fun details. So this end, I'm just putting it right along the end. That's it, just right along that edge. And I'm gonna put these two pieces together. I'm gonna to eyeball it. All I have to do is make sure they're together and try not to burn my finger when it's all. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And we have a boat. So think about how you're gonna to wanna to be finishing this off. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's episode, I'm gonna show you how we are going to outfit the inside so that you can play with this. You can get your figurines in here and they can just go after, you know, pillaging and stealing from other boats. I don't know. Make up your own story, right? So we're going to get the inside done. I'm going to teach you how to make these super cool sails. You will need to have some shish kebab skewers or maybe you're using straws or maybe your parents have some dowel rods or whoever's the uh, garage manager might be able to dig you up I don't uh, old fishing pole I don't know look around you need something straight that you can put your sails on and a couple cups if you don't have cups these are just paper cups you can just use cylinders of paper all right so I'm gonna come back tomorrow and make sure that you have the base of your boat completely finished all right make it look nice think about adding details to yours maybe you've got little windows here you could put the edge of water coming up on yours i think i'm gonna do that to mine oh all right and we'll continue so keep creating and be kind <laughs>